Once you guys got another video on how to convert NTFS to FAT32 without data loss. Now, in an ideal world, you really want to back up your data before carrying out any sort of conversion process from one format to another. And the reason for that is because if you stop this process at any stage, it will lose all your data. You can see here, we do have a drive that has NTFS on it. And what we're going to do is convert all of this and we do have data on the actual drive itself, which we do want to keep. Now, of course, it would be a lot easier just to back up all the data first, then convert the actual drive rather than converting it while data is on the drive. Because if something goes wrong, you are going to lose that data. So be very careful. But you can see we do have a folder of images on here. And what you don't want to be doing is right clicking on here and going to format and then go into the actual drive here to format the drive on a quick format and changing it to FAT32. Because if you do this, what's going to happen is it's going to erase all of the data on that drive. And this is why you'll get a pop-up box when you click on start. It says warning formatting will erase all the data on the disk. To format the disk, click OK. And to quit, click cancel. If you want to preserve your data, you do want to click cancel because if you click OK, your data is going to be gone. So how can we convert this to FAT32 without losing our data? Well, you can use something like this piece of software right here, which is Ionomi uh, NTFS to FAT32 Converter. It's a free piece of software you can use and download and install. So let's go ahead and head over to their website and you can see here, NTFS to FAT32 converter. It does explain all about what you need to do here. Now, a thing to remember is all the information is listed right here, and you can see the NTFS partition has a maximum capacity of up to two terabytes here, and there's a bunch of other information about uh, the capacity size for FAT32 and all that stuff. So make sure you read and understand all of that before you continue with this process. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to download uh, the actual software here. Now, of course, this is free software, but they will try to push on you the paid software, the pro version, but you want to avoid that, otherwise you will have to pay. So we're going to go ahead and hit the download button here. And we're going to go ahead and click on the actual executable file to install the software. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. Say yes to the user account control here. And this will then start the installation process. So I'm going to choose our language, click OK. And what we want to do next is move on to the next screen, which is this one right here. This is where they're going to obviously try to get you to the pro edition, which is paid software. But we want the standard edition. So what you need to do here is skip the actual uh, pro version and go ahead and install the standard edition, which is free. Next, we need to accept their terms and conditions. So we're going to agree to those and click on install. And this will go ahead and install the free software, which is what we're going to use for the conversion. So what we're going to do next is let that install. And you can see here, join the user experience improvement program. If you want to do that, you can leave that check marked. I'm going to uncheck mark it and click on enjoy now. And that is now done. You're going to get another nag box here uh, to get you to upgrade to the pro version. And this is a pretty common thing with free software like this from this particular seller. So let's go ahead and have a look at the software itself. It's pretty straightforward. We're on the standard edition here. And what we want to do is we want to select the drive that we want to convert. So this is the drive right here. So we're going to go ahead and select that drive right here. Now, of course, you can do tons of other things with this software. And you can see on the right hand side, it will give you some options available like clone disk, also quick partition, rebuild MBR, and also delete all partitions, wipe hard drive, and also dynamic disk management, and also disk defragment. So we're going to select this one here, and we're going to go up to the very top where it says convert. So click on convert right here. And from here, we're just going to click on this one right here that says convert to NTFS to FAT32. So we're going to select that version right there. And this will open up another window. And there we go. We're now ready to convert. So let's go ahead and convert NTFS to FAT32. But you can go from FAT32 to NTFS as well. There's an option there. But we're going to go uh, to that right there. Next, we're going to go here. 
and select the drive and we're going to click next again and it's going to want to check the drive as well it says check and repair the partition before you convert it we're going to go ahead and let that do its thing because if there's any issues it will try to fix them before it converts it once you're happy we can now click on proceed and this will then go ahead and convert the drive from ntfs to fat32 or fat32 to mtfs so let's click start and say yes and this will then go ahead and convert it it shouldn't take too long and once this is done you should see operation has been completed successfully click OK and now we can click on the finish button once we're done here it will take you back here which is a bit confusing but all we need to do here is close this out because we have now completed our task we can say yes we want to cancel and exit out and close the software off and you'll get another nag box to ask you to upgrade and we just say sure we're opting out here and closing it off there we go and you can uninstall the software after you've finished but if we go back to file explorer in this pc and go into our drive you can see our data is still intact we can still open this data up as well but if we go back to the actual drive and right click and go to properties here and take a look right here you can see we're now rocking a file system of fat32 it's that simple so we've gone from ntfs to fat32 why you want to do that i really don't know you're more than likely to want to go to fat32 to ntfs but hey that's basically how you can do it and let me just quickly show you and open one of these files to make sure that the uh, files are intact and they are working correctly so let me quickly uh, close this off and we can go back into the drive itself and i just want to quickly open this up to make sure the files are working and they are working perfectly fine as you can see anyway i think that is pretty much it that is basically how you can convert from fat32 to ntfs or you can convert from uh, ntfs to fat32 anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members whether you're tier one tier two or tier three i really do appreciate the support if you haven't joined our discord server yet the link is in the video description it's a brand new discord server i shall see you over there for a chat or i'll catch you in the next video bye for now